Hi, this is Shamin here. I'm from Educator Shamin YouTube channel, Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter. I have so you can follow me there. So in this video, I'm going to teach you that is a statistical data, how you can organize like a pictograph, bar graph and pie chart. What's the difference? So before start my class, please make sure subscribe my channel and turn on notification. Then you can find new video whenever I'm uploading. And do you think this video is helpful for you? I'm not asking guys. All right. So let's get started pictograms so in a pictogram a figure is used to represent a category so what do you mean by that so that is a pictogram is a chart that uses pictures to represent data so it's an advantage pictogram advantage of uh, an advantage of a pictogram is that it's more colorful and appealing that means it's uh, attractive while a disadvantage what's the disadvantage is that it is difficult to use icons to represent exact value that is the disadvantage but advantage that is it's very colorful it's easy to see so here is a one chart that is a school canteen vendor is asked to sell fruits to the students Vendor would like to know which fruit the student like most. So here's a number of students. Here's apple, honeydew, pears, watermelons, and oranges. But if I see, if I will show the pictogram, here is a colorful fruits. If you see that uh, it's colorful, it's attractive, it's easy to identify. Like an apple, here is a five apple, honeydew that is pears watermelons and oranges so if i will identify a school canteen vendor is asked to sell fruits to the students the vendor would like to know which fruit the student like most so which fruit a student like most here is the apple is a five honeydew no pears no watermelon yes this is uh, obviously watermelon that is um, the fruit students like most all right so this is a pictogram but uh, this is a bar graph so what is bar graph so bar graph is a, a kind of chart that is uh, most uh, that is the so same wide uh, that is the bars in a bar graph that is the must be of the same uh, word and the space between the bars allow for easy of distinction between each category so and height and height of the each bar that is the proportional to number of students who like each fruit most so bars in a bar graph must be the same word so here is a apple and here is a honeydew honeydew pears whenever you draw the diagram you must take a space this is it will be the same word and this is the distance 20 40 60 uh, 80 and 100 so it's go like this this is a number of students and here's a types of fruits so students favorite fruit all right a space between bars allows for that is the ease of distinction between each category another advantage bar graph this is um, advantage that is uh, lowest and highest frequency can be easily identified if you see that so this is definitely watermelon this is um, highest and uh, if you see the lowest that is the pears all right this is so it's easy to identify but here is some disadvantage that is the frequency exists does not start with a zero 
is doesn't start with zero the display data may be misleading all right so another kind of graph that is a line graph yes so what is line graph so line graph this is another kind of a chart and um, here it's easy to if uh, it's uh, not used too much because a line graph is a preferred one we want to observe a rising and falling so it's go up this way rising and this is go down so me this is a uh, down falling chance in a set of data over a period of time to obtain a line graph we can plot the points on a graph paper and con and connect each uh, successive point by line segment so if you see the question the line graph shows the rubber consumption of an automobile industry in a country from january to may of a particular so in which month was the rubber consumption the lowest so this is obviously may and using data from the line graph constructed table showing the rubber consumption over the five months so here is a january february march april and here is a may calculate the percentage increase in the rubber consumption from uh, february to march uh, so february this is uh, is showing that so here is the increase percentage increase we need to figure out this one I will make another video for this lesson. All right. Now I'm just showing how you can uh, you can do some different type of graphs. Here is another that is pie chart. So pie chart. Oh my goodness, what happened? It's not going. So so pie chart is constructed by dividing a circle dividing a circle into different sectors all right so this is a pie chart if you see that here is a fat protein that is vitamins and minerals protein here carbohydrates so it's showing that uh, this is a food product that is uh, the pie chart shows the nutritional composition nutritional composition of a food product so this is showing like this pie chart so this is the difference between pictogram and um, pie chart line chart and bar graph yes that's all thank you very much so guys i hope that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video and keep practicing go through your textbooks and find out some problem it can help you to understand Alright, so that's all for today and good luck your math test. Thank you so much.